Bro, them kids are ruthless these years, man. But you gotta love them, because if not, I would have quit already. All right, man. Good night. Good night, bro. Hey, Josh. Hey, Marcus. Marcus? Hmm? What are you doing here? What'd you do to my living room? Don't you love the feng shui in here now? It really opens it up, makes it perfect for games and drink. Chris! Come on, I brought tacos! How long have you been here? It's about 30 minutes, just setting up. No big deal. Okay, for a drink? Somebody's on top. Oh, how nice. This looks really like a surprise. <laughs> Tea time with tequila? Uh-uh. I can't have a test tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and I've got work, so no. It's Sunday study. Wow. But you just one shot. This is pure pressure. This is what we tell our kids not to fall for. You know you want to. Wait. Is that fresh breath from across town? Mm-hmm. I mean... <laughs> Come on, Josh. You know you want to. Yeah, I do. That's hey. Is it strong? It's, it's Lacey. Lich. Which is that? It's like a church. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, maybe I forgot. I don't know. Maybe. Where does he get all this energy from? I don't know. I'm getting tired. And something tells me he's not going to stop anytime soon. It is way past my bedtime. I am calling it a night. Good night, gentlemen. Good night, bro. Bye. Bye, Google. Anybody who go for something to sleep right now? I can go for something to sleep right now. Actually, uh, we'll, we'll call it a night too, Marcus. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, anybody here just some party poopers? <laughs> But these brownies look good though. Mmm. 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 There's my phone. Marcus? Mm. Are those Josh's brownies? Maybe. They were in the refrigerator. You know those are edibles. Come on. Oh, sleepy gum drop. Oh, brownies are edible. Duh. Whoa. You're headed for a good trip. Let me see your keys. See? <laughs> good night, Marcus. Man. Lightweight. <laughs> it's trending in the building. You already know what it is. It's opposite season, y'all. From the verses. Hit it, y'all. Period. I'm out. Woo! We might not always see
Look at you all snug as a bug. Yo, hey, the boss, get up, we're gonna be late. Hey, what was that? What was said was, if you two don't hurry up out that door, you're gonna be late for work. Josh? Why are you dressed like... Hold the hell on, Chris, did you just call me out of us? Dude, we call the event of ours since high school. Come on, get over it. Seriously, this love-hate between you two is going to drop me up the wall. I ain't got time for this. Denise is back from her vacation and I thought I'd hear all that tea. When did you start hanging out with Denise? Marcus, what's wrong with you? You know me and Denise's longtime friends. There's Trent I can't leave alone at the office. She's probably at the office trying to figure out how to unlock the door as we speak. Boy, what the freaky Friday? He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Who's coming? Kavon, I didn't think you'd leave here so soon. Chris, I tell you about leaving your stuff on your own. Do you have any cases I have today? What? All right, put your hand down. I don't have time to be cleaning up after you. Are you listening? This looks familiar. Let me educate you, big bro. I'm underestimated at every single turn. I don't have the luxury to be a slob. I have to be organized and on top of everything at every single second so that when a man thinks he can overlook me or underestimate me, I can come back harder than anyone else. This is not a joke. Help me. This is the Twilight Zone. Hell no. What's wrong with Marcus? Hi, mm -hmm. goodbye. Hi, Josh. Oh, it happened. It finally happened. I have lost my damn mind. You really handle bars? You dropping the deuces now? I think he does this on purpose. He does everything on purpose. Who are you? Uh, Chris? Uh-uh. You're not Chris. You're some type of doppelganger. You know what, Chris? Can you go ahead and go get the door for Kelsey, please? Kelsey? Uh-uh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Some milk? Two percent. What's oh. up? Hey! Hey, everyone. Oh. Hey! Hey, Mars. You on a party? I've been trying to get this woman to focus, but he's like acting high noon. Henry, why are you here? It's for my case. Hey, man. My favorite cousin. Come on. I need your help. He pushed himself out the window. It wasn't my fault. I'm serious. We should probably talk about this in the office. Okay. Is that me? And actually, I don't even know why I have to even explain myself. Because normally, you call me handlebars, and you're a neat OCD lawyer. And you're the mailman who always steals our milk. Well, I asked for the milk. Stop talking. It's weird enough. All of you are different, and it's really weirding me out right now. So, you said you fell asleep and woke up, and everything was weird. Maybe just try going back to sleep? I should try that. You're right. Uh, you should use the daybed. I'll do that. I'm gonna use the daybed. I just need some rest. What you need is Jesus. Oh, Josh, you're home. 
Drinking with Marcus again, eh? Josh, just because you see people sleepy during the day doesn't mean alcohol is involved. That bridge game was intense and we took all day baking these cookies like a parasite. Just took everything hey, Josh. out of me. Speak of the parasite. Chew your food. I'll chew when you make it taste less like cardboard. Ugh. Josh, you gotta hear this. If you're just tuning in, aliens have invaded Poughkeepsie, New York. Small green men armed with futuristic laser-type weaponry are making their way through Dutchess County due south, murdering as they go. The National Guard has been called in, but it appears that they won't be able to head off the invasion until these out-of-war visitors are well into Brooklyn. See, this is what I'm talking about. The sources say they'll be in Brooklyn by, by tonight. We gotta do something about this. Now, Hank, now don't you think there's some kind of a rational explanation for all this? Yeah, Henry could be a disc jockey trying to get into show business. Pulling your leg. Henry would be happy if anybody pulled anything of his. Speaking of show business, Josh. No, Chris. You can't be in the show. Oh, why not? The audience loves me. No. Now I'm serious. I've never heard something like this before. We gotta do something about this. We got to... Y'all smell something? Oh my god, this casserole! Care to try some? I mean, no, it's a little smoky, but it's okay. Care to try? Um, I'll try. How can you eat at a time like this? Says the man who takes showers eating sandwiches. What? Sometimes the mustard falls out the back. Easy to clean up that way. What do you think? It's unique. Oh, come on now, Marcus, give me details. It's um spicy. There's an aftertaste. Well, that's to know what a secret is. Since we're about to die being invaded by aliens, why not tell you it's magic? Magic? Why did you say so? What do you mean magic? I got it from a herb guy down the street. You mean Herb Kowalski, Defender? No, 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 no. The guy with the long trench coat that sits from the cookie mark saying Malta, Malta, Malta. But that was Spanish for more, more, more. Oh, Chris, such a beatnik. Wait, are there drugs in this? Yeah, drugs. Candy. Candy? Oh, oh Chris. Chris. Oh, my head. You okay, buddy? Yeah, my head is just spinning a little. Where's the color? Where's the finance? Where's... What do you have on? What? You don't like it? Got them from, uh, Ross. This pot pie is incredible! You're not gonna last long, I'm gonna bet. You're gonna be in our stomach. Save it for the donut shop. They'll appreciate your caterwauling more than I will. How you feeling? I feel fine. How you feeling? Better now that this Popeye's here. Ha 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 ha. Boy, get ready while I go see who this is. I ain't playing with you. 
It's all so sudden. Oh man, I saw it coming. Come on. Come on. What? He ate entirely too much. Eight sandwiches in one setting, no chewing. Who will give dogs chocolates? It's common knowledge you can't give dogs chocolates. Mr. Brownie? Mikey was my best friend, man. He was man's best friend. And luckily, with the help of Hemp Man, we found our culprit. It's my pleasure, citizen. Did you know that the strength of hemp rope is stronger than steel? So we ain't going anywhere for a while. I don't care, someone has to pay for this. Looks like someone's in need of a new pair of concrete boots. Kelsey's right. Like, concrete boots fits the crime, man. Concrete, did you know the hempcrete is a renewable resource and lasts for thousands of years? But it's not good for hempcrete boots. Well, too bad we didn't bring the bags with us. You got the shanks, Kels? No, I thought Kavon was grabbing them. Like Knives make me nervous, man. I got a couple butterfly knives. Hit man to the rescue! Guys, it's me. I got, I got. <clears throat> Mr. Brownie was the only one with the access to the sweets. You can't wake up if you're dead asleep. Hit man, hand me the knife. Oh. What is this? Anything that can be made out of plastic. We made out of them. Plus, I like butterflies. Why are you doing this to yourself? I'm not. You are. Like, are you sure? Couldn't say he's doing that. Like, forget that, man. Cut him up like a pound. Something you're not telling yourself. You know, there's something I can't quite remember. Would y'all leave that boy alone, man? Chris? Don't look at me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Go home, Marcus. I thought something bad happened to me, and I just don't remember. How are you going to ask me if you don't remember? Like, I should know. Yeah, you're right. You don't live in my head. Well, 
Hey, Josh. Yeah, buddy? I think I'm ready to wake up now. I bet. But you got a lot more work to do. Hey, earlier, there was this blue man group looking guy. He seemed angry. Why? <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's nobody. Just forget about it. I mean, you already have, so... <laughs> Never. <laughs> you ain't gonna beat me. Sleep is just yesterday, he's fine. You know, in some cultures, it's a sin to wake him up. I heard something about that, uh, something about, uh, interrupting a spiritual message. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six, one more. Oh, someone at the door? You did that on purpose. I thought I heard someone knocking. Well, welcome back. Go ahead and deliver, Marcus. Wait, what? Why are the Cheerios on me? Thought you would want breakfast. Oh. <laughs> Not this again. Damn, you don't have to say it like that. I'm gonna be rude, you go back to sleep. What am I awake? Am I like awake awake? Mm -hmm. No. You're still sleepy. What's your bank account number? Dude, stop it. <laughs> Had your heads in the cloud. Somewhere. Shut up, Dorothy and Toto. <sighs> it's so good to see y'all acting on. How, how else I was supposed to be acting? Ooh, let me tell you. Hey, I was ringing the doorbell. I told you someone was at the door. <sighs> let me tell you, I had this crazy dream about pots and pies and aliens. I love numerology. Tell me about it. Child, he had a dream about pies and aliens. It's more like a, it's more like a journey. Okay, well, you're back now. Yeah. I love you guys. I'm really grateful to have you on my life. Yeah. We love you too, Marcus. Come on. Bring it in. Group up. Group up. I'm scared. Shut up and get in here. Uh, he's okay. He's yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you feel better. Are you ready to go, Chris? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Hey, Marcus. Hmm. Do you think we could uh, finish our cereal stack? Yeah, because um, your forehead is the exact size, shape, and levelness that we need. It's flat. No, you can't. <laughs> you know what? Just change your mind. Yeah. I'm not supposed to stay in that. You good? We need to talk? Nothing to talk about. No? Night, Marcus. Good night. Um, Marcus, can you can you turn the other way? Ain't gonna happen. I can use this devil. Right, right, right. Let's use this devil. We made